I'm so far away from my microphone. I'm not. I'm prepared. Yeah, prepared. Uh, That's the theme of tonight. Hey, sorry, we didn't do a stream until now because uh, we just we forgot. We, we were forgot. busy we were... this afternoon and evening and got home and were tired and sat down and stopped moving. Yeah, we were we were out on it. It was great. It was good fun. We were out at a at a, a sing along event that our friend puts together where we do we just a sing pick a Broadway musicals. show and give out parts and then just sing through the whole thing, get a pianist and play the whole thing. It was great. It was lovely. It was good fun. Oh, went then, well. But thank you for the reminder that uh, we should be streaming because uh, I would have forgotten to do our dailies. Yeah, we got to do our daily games. That's, what, that's, tired. Part, that's the point of the stream. We do the My daily games. My mom messaged me this morning to say that she got actoral on the first try. I know. So we have to get actoral on the first try, which we usually do. Usually, no. But we didn't recently when we were trying to get Ooh. buddy Andy McDowell. Yeah, that was and tough. forgot that she existed. That was not good. Uh, so hey, welcome, 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 uh, and uh, we'll we'll do some fun, you know. We'll do some we'll do some daily games. If you have other dailies to do as we go, feel free to add them in the chat, and we'll go to them. But probably at a point where we ask, because otherwise we'll, they'll get lost in the shuffle. Um, but yeah, we'll go and do some games. Yeah, let's start with the normal ones, shall we? Yes. Yeah, we should probably just get right into it, but I'm tired. Exactly. The sooner we get through them, the sooner sleep happens. Hey, get out of here. I don't want to go to sleep. I'm just tired. The sooner brain sleep happens. Bleep. All right. We'll guess the game. Huh. Okay, this is a tough guess the game, everybody. That's the oh, wrong screen why again. Why is it doing this? Stop forgetting my screen. There we go. Okay, so I feel like I'm playing a game of um. Is McFly in the chat? Uh, yeah. Can you see him in this picture? Oh yeah, a little bit. He's there. there he yeah, that's him. I'll move my <laughs> He's watching. There he is. He's on the chair. Wa he's watching me. Hey boy. Hey, puppy. What you doing on a chair? Fun fact, he never used to sit on that chair until Billy started working from home and sitting in that chair more often. All right, back to the game. You got this in three, did you? All right, well, so far, it means very little to me. Looks old. I think it looks old. Yeah, I guess. I think it looks <laughs> like... It's just a background, right? Maybe it's Superman 64. This looks <laughs> like the bad horizon of Superman 64. I thought that that was just grey in the background. Uh, his ears are not flopped back. They no, are just fine. slightly tilted back. But yeah, I gotta go for it. All right, I'm going to go Superman 64. Is it just called Superman? Maybe it's just called Superman. Let's go Superman. Sure. No, it's not Superman. Oh, oh, it's Quop. Oh, it's Quop. I didn't know Quop was on Guess the Game. No, that didn't occur to me. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Hey, Quop. Everyone played Quop. Love Quop. There you go. That's how you know it's Quop. Now, we're going to show a Quop. And at the end, maybe we'll play some Quop. Yeah, we can do some Quop I at the end of the stream. I love playing Quop. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, this person's doing too well. This, yeah, this isn't too good at quop. fun. Why are they succeeding? What do you mean you don't pronounce a quop? It says quop. The name is how quop. Do you, how, oh, you just spell it out? That's, That's crazy. so inefficient. This game is called quop. That's so many syllables. It's not Q W O P, it's quop. Q double U O P. Oh my God. Nah, it's quop. That's so much real estate. I was on the phone with someone trying to fix my phone. Um, and they at one point told me to go to a website and they called it triple W dot. Oh, wow. That's wild. And that's how I started the website. Like, triple W dot blah, 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 dot com. I was like, that's <laughs> crazy. Good. On, I mean, Hey, good work. It's fine. It's pretty succinct, but what are you talking about? I mean, apparently, um, Australia has a thing like that of calling our emergency number triple O and it's not just the O part. It's the triple part that sometimes throws people. Apparently that is a thing. Some, some people culturally just super don't do that at all. I remember being in New Zealand and seeing ads just say dub dub dub. 
We say wazzed if we want to shorten uh, W-A-S-D. It's wazzed. Oh, we're talking W-A-S-D? Yeah, it's wazzed. That's wazzed. That's wazzed control. <laughs> Imagine being like, I've got W-A-S-D control. Like, what are you talking about? This it's isn't wazzed. just us, right? It's wazzed control. You Does freaks. everyone say wazzed? What if someone pronounces it wazzed? Surely you all say wazzed. What do you say? W A S D controls? Triple W dot PBS dot org. That's upsetting. Triple W. Wazzed. It's fine. Wazzed. Quop. Oh, yeah. Everyone can have their own weird ways of saying things. It's just fascinating to learn. Surely you all say QWERTY keyboard. So, what's. Quirty and Quop are the same word, pretty much. We've just been watching this guy run for a while. Sorry, Quop. All right, let's, let's jump he, to Has he one. fallen over even once? No. Terrible. Insult to the game. To the game. Dull. Off to Game Dull. Here we are. We're back. It's Game Dull, everybody. We're going to do the classic Game Dull. <clears throat> Is this Mist? Really? No, no. It doesn't look like the cover of Mist. Is this cover, Riven? Remember? Yeah. It's dark. Those games love yeah, showing off their true. colors. Riven has a big giant orb. This, this is the like hive a weird, in the center. Like a it's wooden old. pop-up book. Oh, can I even big in this baby? Let's get big. Let's get big. This looks like a wooden pop-up book. Like what? No, are, what this are these is sort like of a steps really old, going This is a on. mountain. Yeah, but why is it this weird sort of three D? This is a mountain with a big moon thing cut into it here. Mm. I don't know if we're seeing the same thing. I think now. it's a background mountain. It, I don't know if it is. I think it's attached too much to this thing. Oh, it's wait, you're right. Going. I've reinterpreted it. I see what you mean. It's stairs. I get it. It's like boop, 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 boop. I mean, I still don't know if it's stairs, but it's No, I see clearly, it now. It's these it lines lo- it that go across. It reminds me of paper folding or wooden Yeah, chunks. yeah, no, I've got, I'm on your page now. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm. Yeah, a good point, um. Different places in Europe don't always quirt up. Oh, yeah. Some have Sorry, others. if in, you're in Europe, which you may be for this stream, you've probably got a different keyboard. I remember that in 2004 when I was in Europe trying to write emails home from our holiday. I was just t- typing on autocorrect and didn't end up with as many vowels as I should have had. <laughs> All right, so what are we taking as the first guess, Danny? I have no idea. Let's try. Damn, they don't have missed three. Let's try. Wilder mist. Steps. Stairs. I don't think it's actually stairs. What about though? bloodstained ritual of the night? Sure. All right, we've learned oh, something. Oh my god, I'm a fool, you freaking. Oh, I don't see it at all. Oh, come on. There's another Grim Fandango? No, it's remastered. Ah. Oh. Makes sense. They have a different cover. Ah. Oh. Look at this Art Deco wonder. Okay, so those are stairs? They're the side of a building. It's just, yeah. It's just a tall building. Oh, boy. Oh, Grim well, Fan. Yep, that's Dango. your game. It's the remaster, though. It's the cover for the remaster. That's it's true. Not that the doesn't original look like cover. the cover that I'm familiar no. with. Which is why I, I didn't get it so quickly. But, oh. Good job. Come on. What a great game. What a great game, Grim Fandango. I'd play that on stream. I'd stream Grim Fandango. You, you have to sort of lead me through it when I start to fail. Yeah, yeah you play, I lead. I have played some amount, oh, but so not very good. much. Hey, everybody, Grim Fandango is so good. Do, do, you, do you people like, do you, want, do you want people to play, uh, do you want us to play this on stream? Do you want us to stream this on, the, on these Sundays? We'll play Grim Fandango instead. We do own it. We own it. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, I have Can gotten... we get Tim Schafer on the show? I have no idea. I don't know what he's like as a person. I don't know. Maybe he's a maybe he's a great guy. Mm. Let's see if we can get him on the well, show. If he's a great guy, then if anyone sure. knows Tim Schafer, let us know. Yeah, and we'll if, if he's a great guy, if anyone knows Tim Schafer and likes him, <laughs> <laughs> some point and click games for sure. But some point and click games you just get a good feeling for. Like, this is so good. Like um, Monkey Island. We played one of the we played new, the uh, one. Monkey we played the, um, the ones that were made by the. They weren't Tales yes. from Monkey Island. But they were made by that studio. They were made by the, the people. So it was similar really to doing the Back Tales. to the Future ones. Maybe yeah. it was Tales. Uh, but yeah, one of the new, uh, but not newest, Monkey Islands. It was and great. I clicked with that. It was really good. fun. But that's because mo- it was a modern game, I suppose. <laughs> From watching the doc's Psych Odyssey, he seems decent. He seems like a cool guy. Looks nice. 
Oh, let's let's play Grim Fandango. Hey, one game that's completely irrelevant to all of this that I've never seen anybody else play. Mm. Secret Agent. This is a big game from my childhood. Oh, the Block DOS Man. games. I mean, I talk about Blockman a lot. You're all sick of me talking about Blockman. Let's play Blockman and but Crystal Caves and Secret Agent. Absolutely, I played both of them. Pl- which one's Crystal Caves? Uh, another one like that's just okay. a sort of Commander Keen esque sort of game. Fantastic. But the one that I was talking about was completely and utterly different from my childhood, which is, um, I don't even know what it's actually called, but it was a Sierra Dinosaur Pinball. Ooh, fun. And when I Google that, I know it shows right up. I've got a dinosaur game that I can't find from my childhood. Oh, no. There was a Help game. Out, hey, everybody, because I know that everyone here is uh, 40 years old and therefore can help me with games from my childhood. There was a game that I had on DOS where you had to, like, pick a dinosaur and then you played as that dinosaur in like a top-down, moving around sort of a thing. And it was like, some dinosaurs are just better than others. Like, if you picked a predator, you could just eat every other dinosaur. But if you picked like a herbivore, you had to constantly avoid like T-Rexes. And try. And it was, and I, that's all I remember. And I've never been able to find this game. So if someone can find it for me. Oh, hey, Zach and Thos. So this is our this is our stream our live stream which is not really about much. Um, if you want to check out the real stuff, you can check out our podcast. So we have got like escape this podcast where we'll do uh, escape rooms, uh, audio escape rooms. In fact, this coming week there's an episode with Tom Scott playing one of our escape rooms. Um, it hasn't come out yet, but it's about to. Uh, and you can check out Solve This Murder where we solve murder mysteries on our on on our live stream on Twitch. We kind of just do whatever. Right now we're talking about Grim Fandango, but we're playing through our daily games. Normally we do puzzle games, but lazy Sunday night stream for us. We're just going through our daily puzzles. Oh, nice. You just listened to Class Pet Peeves. Yeah, that was Oh, fun. cool. Class Pet Peeves were different because that was a guest game master. Usually Danny writes and runs all the games. Usually. Instead, we just played that one because a guest wrote it for us, Spencer, who uh, is fantastic. Tom yeah, Tom, Tom will be back. back. Tom and David. Tom and David. David, who is the producer of Lateral. Uh We'll be back. And also has his own show um, that he hosts, TV Show and Tell. Which I think also had an Alex Alex Horn episode. Oh, did it? I think so. I could be wrong, but I feel like he got Alex on that show as well. Amazing. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's much more likely to get Alex than we are. Uh, Artwork. Alex also has a lot to say about TV. Yeah. Whoa, it's big. Okay. Can everybody see this? It might be too big. There you go. Good enough. Oh, yeah, Class Pet Peeves did not go where I expected it to go. Is it Pyrosaurus? Sorry, but I'm going to quickly turn our display <laughs> off for a second. Let me just gra- see what this is. It doesn't sound like it was. but I, Break everything? I broke everything. What's happening? Web, archive, Pyrosaurus. It no. does look like top-down dinosaurs. I Thank you so much. It was a great look, great guess. It's a 1997 top-down dinosaur game. Not what I want. Unbelievable. Sorry, everybody. Why is there more than one? I know, this was like an educational game, partly. I think it taught you about dinosaur life. I gotta try to Google this. All right, I'm back. I thank you so much for your for your submission of is that the dinosaur game from my childhood? This is a grey cityscape, uh, and I'm gonna say it's the division. 3D dinosaur adventure from 1993. I wasn't three. Let me have a look. Uh, I don't know yet. Find an image of it. Hey, Danny, it was The Division. I got it in one. Oh, my God. It was a grey city. You think I'm not going to guess The Division? Here's how you know. If you see a, a grey city, there's only two options. It's either The Division or it's I Am Alive, and nobody knows the game I Am Alive, so you always ch- answer with The Division. This isn't top down. Nah, this isn't what I want. Get the hell out of here. Bad. You fail. You failed, Danny. Froze my phone as well. This, this, based on the games that I was playing around the time, it probably came out in the late eighties rather than the nineties. I did not specify. Maybe the early nineties, but I feel like it was the same time I was playing like Quest for Glory and things like that. Though I think I had a bunch of this sort of stuff. It was on the old DOS computer I grew up with, alongside Jazz Jack Rabbit, um, Commander Keen, mm. Solar Winds. Man, I would do a Solar Winds stream. There, there are a couple of Reddit posts of people searching for similar games. Well, one day we'll find it. Let's play the keywords game for Game Doll. Hey, everybody, we're playing keywords. Is it this? Nope, get out of here. Don't want Ugh. it. 
We had the occasional class pet. Nothing not to go to the holidays. One time we took a home to a class mouse. Oh, I think I just saw you post this on the on the Discord as well. That's bad. There's too many mice. Hey everyone, gorillas, clowns, and mini games. Do you know, Danny? Do you know a game with gorilla clowns and mini games? <laughs> One gorilla, multiple clowns. That's curious. Maybe it's Ape Escape. I don't think I it is. I haven't played Ape Escape. Maybe there are cl- You know what has a gorilla and mini games, and I believe clowns in it. What's that? Rampage. Huh. One of the one of the characters is the gorilla. There, there are clowns. There are mini games. And there are mini games. Oh, Every like third wild. level of Rampage, instead of destroying a city, you like fight each other or you fly blimps okay. through a side scrolling shoot 'em up. I, I, I don't think remember it's all, that at all. Specifically, I think Rampage World Tour. They don't have Rampage. Wow. Well, hey, hey, everybody. Bloody. There were clowns in Rampage. There were clowns in Rampage. You would, in some levels, you would be like, and you'd eat them. They're standing on the ground juggling like, I'm a clown. And then you eat the clown. And then usually you would vomit, I think. I think if you vomit if you ate a clown. But for some reason, bloody game people doesn't even think Rampage was a game. Not only is Rampage a classic video game, it had a movie adaptation. No one cared, but it had a movie adaptation starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And they don't even think it's a game? Where does Game Duel get their database? All right, Danny, I need another suggestion for a Gorilla Clowns minigame game. Yeah, this is difficult. Um, I was pretty much straight onto Donkey Kong's. But it's not DK sixty four. Was baffling me. Helicopter skateboard boss fight. <sighs> Tony Hawk. American Wasteland. Sure. Licensed game vacuum attack what? arcade cabinet. So it's based on an existing IP. It has Ow. clowns, a helicopter, a skateboard, an arcade cabinet, <coughs> a gorilla. What the heck is this? Is there a King Kong game that gets real weird? No. Okay. Is there a Wreck It Ralph game? No. Don't what the heck is this think game? There were any of those things in Wreck It Ralph. There's an arcade cabinet. Oh, I guess inside the yeah, sure. Vacuum attack. Ghostbusters somehow. There's a Ghostbusters game. Okay, we also brawler. have nothing in common with this. Okay, boss it's a assistant, spider, family. Do- oh, um, um, what's his name? Scott Pilgrim. That's a game. That's a street brawler. Nope. Cartoon violence. Overweight oh, character. It's a yellow Simpsons. characters. Oh. Simpsons. I think the Simpsons arcade game. Sure. Wow. So I guess there's a gorilla in that. What the hell? I mean, I'm assuming it means at some point there's a vacuum that attacks. 1991. Hey, Danny, you failed us. What'd I do? You didn't know a Simpsons thing, I'm oh, assuming. well. And that's your job. Even <laughs> though this came out when you were one. Sorry, I uh, doxed you. Um, all right, to well, the guess. Not even that. Marge had a vacuum attack. That makes sense. Oh. All right, we're going to start with our classic guess, as we always do. You always begin with Portal 2. That's how this game is played. Then you find out that okay. it came out before Portal Fantastic. 2, but it's not first person. Love it. So we go for Crash, Crash 3. Warped. It's going to be right one day. It's a single player only game from between 1998 and 2011, or between 1999 and 2010. Third person is cool. Third person all side view, and it is platforming or adventure. Adventure is the worst thing ever because every game's an adventure. Mm-hmm. So we're looking for a single player game. It's pretty much all we got <laughs> that was on PlayStation. Uh, okay. Let's throw out a quick... Final Fantasy X, the greatest game ever made. That's not true, but it is one of my favorite games. It's a good choice. I want to play Final Fantasy X again. I should have bought sure. the. I should have bought them. I should have bought the remaster the other day when it was on sale. Sure. And you said, "You idiot, don't buy the remaster of like Final me. Fantasy X." And I said, "I but I but I'd like to." And you said, "No." When it comes to Simpsons video games, I am very not with it. I didn't even play Simpsons Hit and Run. Hit and Run was fun. I didn't have the resources for it. Didn't have the right consoles or computer. Let's get a copy of Hit and Run. Permission. Okay, PS2 definitely has it. It was on PlayStation 2. So we can't be going too much further up, surely. Romance, drama, science fiction, fantasy. Final Fantasy X is so good. 
It's such a good game. So it could well be sci-fi. Do we have to go with one of these Sly Coopers again or whatever? Yeah, we always go with a Sly Cooper. And just, and, uh, and or would some of these have been doubled up? No idea. It could be Naughty Dog, but it might be... No, someone else. Third person. Two, it's, oh my gosh, come on. I get it. It's on the PS2. What is this PlayStation 2 game that had nothing to do with Sony? So it must have been on a multitude of things. It can't be a PlayStation exclusive, I think. No, that's fine. I don't know much about that. Um. So this one, probably action. Let's the last proper turn-based Final Fantasy. Now, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to talk about Final Fantasy. The last Final Fantasy that was properly turn-based probably was Final Fantasy X, or specifically X-2. But, 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 but. The last one, yeah, to use the no, actual classic 13? Final Fantasy. No, thirteen was not turn based. Really at all? Sp- I know that well, there were creatures on partly. the overworld, but so, I thought the battles were still turn based. So let me let me try and let me try and say what I remember about Final Fantasy. Basically, one through nine had the classic Final Fantasy system, which is the the A T B or something bars. like the the it, like turn based but on timers, which I think is not good. I don't actually like the uh, traditional Final Fantasy system because it's like, do you want me to be turn based or do you want me to be Time based, like, sh- come on, give me a, give me. I can't make proper tactical decisions because I'm always on this weird timer. But I can't, not you know, whatever. But they were up to the, like that until nine. Then ten was fully turn based. I think it's the only actually fully turn based Final Fantasy game is ten, and ten two, and I love that. I think it's really great. You can actually strategize and and plan things out so you can be you can engage with the systems more. I found like in ten you you can engage with like delaying turns and changing things and bringing people in for it. It's really nice, and I think it lets you get the most out of the combat. 12, 11 was online, who knows? 12 was... You would pick a target, and your character would attack routinely. They would regularly attack, hmm. I think. Right? So you'd be like, you attack you, and he'd run off and he'd bump. So not quite turn-based. 13 was you only controlled one of the people in your party uh... at a time, and I think it was... You would you could attack you had to manually attack constantly, but you could you had like abilities on a cooldown or something like that. And then just, fourteen was on the yeah, internet. Just to be clear, ten was with the beach ball. That yeah, is absolutely. Ten right. was with the beach ball. And then fifteen was fully like hack and slash style um action combat. And then I've I haven't played sixteen. I don't know anything about how sixteen works. We've watched a tiny clip of sixteen. I've it never looks, seen the gameplay of sixteen. We saw a little bit of the gameplay of sixteen. Oh, did we? And yeah. what was it? I think it was more chaos. Yeah. Um, Ten's the best one. <laughs> Ten is the only one that I have played. I tried to start it many, many times and did not get into it. Didn't like the way the camera worked at all. Could barely get out of literally the first screen where you're trying to leave the Blitzball Stadium. Just, uh, didn't have fun. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't like that you couldn't see your enemy's health. Was you got to get the scan ability. Yeah, didn't love it. Um, but eventually, I watched Billy play through it, and he played a lot of Blitzball. Blitzball is phenomenal. And I wanted to get far enough into the game that I could play Blitzball. And so then I played almost the entire game. Uh, the thing is, I wanted to get all of the, what are they called, Ultima weapons? Mm. I wanted to get all of those weapons, but one of them, because I didn't get the thing in Yuna's temple right at the start, now I needed to get past Darth oh, getting Ix- all the crazy Ix- stuff. Ixion yeah, Ifrit or whatever, and I can't do that, so I'm stuck at dodging 100, Dark Ixion Trying to dodge 100 lightning bolts. Yeah, we can't do that. Well, we couldn't do we, that on our own TV. We could do that now. We could we do that on our TV. TV now. Um, 8 was also the first one I played. I really loved 8. Um... I really liked nine, but I never owned it. Seven, I couldn't get into, and I finally <laughs> played it much later on. Um, I just, I don't know, I just, it took me. But I was playing it on like a PSP or something, and it, whatever. Now, shall we talk Final Fantasy? But six, I mean, what, you I'm said, too but, tired. On, wait, I meant Kingdom say, Hearts. I have to say one more thing. I meant Kingdom Hearts, guys. Six, I played really recently. I Kingdom Hearts. Guys. Um, and I think it's fan- phenomenal. I think six is funny. It's interesting. The combat's good. It's it's one. I think I get I get the hype for six slash three. Uh, Sony would have had something to do with Kingdom Hearts, right? 13, I, I hated. 13, I couldn't play. 12, I couldn't play. You 13, def- I couldn't yeah, play. Yeah, you gave up on 13. I gave up on 13. I gave up on 12. Not very fun. 15, I tried so hard to get into it. So Because I liked the, the, like, I really liked the characters. And I really liked the driving around. And I liked the combat. I think the combat in 15 was really fun. And I liked the setting. 
but my god no one cared about it. like it was just like I, I got to a point in the story where it was like you you fight a god and then you find out some terrible truth and then the characters are like well that was strange let's go jump in our car again i was like why doesn't anybody in this story care about the story and i got so mad at the characters in the writing that i stopped playing i don't uh, yeah i have didn't even play it i just watched you do that part and i got so angry about it <laughs> See, six holds up great um i i i still we should I put in another to, guess oh no, yeah we're talking about a fantasy so yeah i wondered if kingdom hearts had something to do with uh this kingdom hearts. or whether we've got things like yalara croft i had another one in my mind that i've forgotten Play Kingdom Hearts. Uh, surely, probably two, right? Two. For these years? <gasps> That's better. It's a 2005 action fantasy single player third person that game that Sony, is in so no yeah. way Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Let's get a one time clue. We have so many games. Yeah, this has been good now. This would be a valuable OTC. Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed. Oh, do they count that as fantasy? You never know. Let's go Assassin's Creed 1. I don't know any of them. That wouldn't have been on the PlayStation. No, you're right, PS2. On the PlayStation 2. So um, what was Ubisoft doing right before before they were doing Assassin's Creed? Oh boy, I hate this game. Oh, Ubisoft. What was Ubisoft doing in 2005? I don't know. I feel like I should know. Look, you don't need to play any since 13. You, you've played up to 13, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Go back and play 10 again. So about this Kingdom Hearts business... Play Chain of Memories. Read Chain of Memories, the greatest Kingdom Hearts game. We've got a nomination of Splinter Cell. I'm happy to take Ooh. that as a clue because I never would have thought of My it. My problem with Splinter fantasy. Cell... Oh, we, yeah, it's, it's fantasy. It's not sci-fi. Mm. We want a fantasy game that Ubisoft was making before Assassin's Creed. I don't know enough about the history of Ubisoft. Okay, PS2 though. Fantasy PS2 game. That's, that's your thing. Game. I thought of Fable, but wasn't Fable... Fable is um, Lion's Head. Multiplayer. Uh, not the first Fable. Oh, really? Uh, but it's Lion's Head. It's not Ubisoft. Um, oh, it was Xbox exclusive it was. to start. Fable. Really? Hey, also, everybody, Fable 1, fantastic That's game. That's wild because I um, eventually sort of petered out of playing Fable 1 because of the computer controls. We got the... A remake when they, they ported it, they released it yeah. with extra content. Um, the Lost Chapters oh, on, right. on computer. That's okay. what we had. Well, I should have played it. Like, we didn't plug controllers into the computer back then. I'm sure I'd be a lot better right now. Yeah, you should play it again. It's phenomenal. It's a great game. Anyway. Come on, Ubisoft and your fantasy. What are all those PlayStation 2 games that you've had? Like Mark of Cree and... The trick here, yeah, Ubisoft probably did publish it, but they developed it as well. Things like Mark that. of Cree, a very good game, but, but not, not 2005, 2005 and not Ubisoft, I don't yeah, think. This is very late for Mark of Cree. Hey, everybody, if you've got a PlayStation 2 sitting around and you want to boot it up and play some Mark of Cree, you should. Oh, right. The <laughs> other ones that I was going for uh, that I had in my head was, again, just more Harry Potters. Ooh, a Harry Potter game. So for 2005, that'd be like Goblet of Fire. No, that'd be Warner Brothers, right? Developed yeah, those? good point. They weren't Ubisoft. This is too hard. We should wa we're wasting time talking doing video games. Yeah, not Elder Scrolls. They didn't do Elder Scrolls. That's Bethesda, um, and they're th th first person, third person. Morrowind, great game. Um, Two thousand five might be Oblivion, but it's not. So never mind. PlayStation Two, which I had, I had a lot. Here, I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go through our PlayStation Two games, have. and I'm going to tell you if any of them may might fit the bill. Yep, fantastic. You're just going to bring a stack. No, no, I'm just going to yell them. Oh, okay. All right. Billy is going to yell them. Not too loud. It is a Sunday night. All right. Where are we starting? Not Airblade. Not Airblade. Not Dark Alliance. Not Dark Alliance, right? That's two player, isn't it? Yeah, right. Burnout. Burnout. Buzz? Oh. Wait, hold on. Slow down. What was after Buzz? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Probably not Crash Nitro Kart. Old God of War games. Let's see how we go. Not the right saga. Yes, the right genre. Platformer hack and slash adventure. So it's a fantasy hack and slash. Oh, that wasn't that PlayStation exclusive? I don't know, but maybe they made Devil May Cry. And again, we're all up in Sony business. Let's go. Devil May Cry, what would that be? Maybe the first Ooh. one for PlayStation 2005. 2005? You don't think? I wouldn't have thought, but... We can go, we can go two. Not Devil May Cry. Oh, it's Capcom. Of course it's Capcom. And yeah, 2003. 
Um. All right, my turn. Okay. All right, Danny's going and looking. I, I'm trying. I was trying just to look at the titles. Not Ghost in the Shell standalone complex tie-in video game. Probably not. No, Jack and Daxter is um, Naughty Dog. Kesson is too Chinese. Not really. I mean, I don't think it's Ke- Would But could it be Dynasty Warriors? Ubisoft wouldn't make Dynasty Warriors, right? Yeah. It's our final guess. I could try a Dynasty Warriors. I'm going to try Dynasty. I don't right. think it is, but let's right. go. Type it and then you look away. We'll go Dynasty Warriors 3. No, no that's earlier than 2005. We'll go Dynasty Warriors 4. Okay, you look away. I'm looking away. I'm not looking. Oh, you might be mildly upset. I don't know if you've How played this one, but you How know the series. Oh, no, what is it? I think it's like a series, but all the stories might be standalone. Oh. You have a signed copy of one of these. Oh, is it a Prince of Persia? They're yep. not standalone. They're one story. Oh, they are? Is it 2005? Is it The Two Thrones? It is The Two Thrones. I didn't know that. I, I loved these games. If you... Oh, you... Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Two Thrones is the worst of the three, of the trilogy. Though I think that they did a fourth one at some point in this universe. But Sands of Time. Oh, fantastic video game. If you haven't played Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, uh, get a PlayStation 2 emulator on your computer and get a copy of Sands of Time. Great game. Really good movement. Really good usage of a time mechanic. Yes, really great narration whenever you die, and he's like, oh, no, wait, that's not how it happened. Sorry. Here's the trilogy signed by Yuri Lowenthal. Well, yeah, see, there's some gold text there pointing to the main character signed by Yuri Lowenthal. We, we, Danny took this to, to Yuri Lowenthal to get signed, and he was very happy. That someone had a Prince of Persia to sign because he was like, I loved doing that role, and nobody asked me to sign Prince of Persia games. So there you go. And then years later, yeah, yeah, he 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 uh, d- t- d- d- refused to be on our show. <laughs> he said, I don't need you, idiots, and and didn't want to be on our show. He didn't say it like that, <laughs> but he did. Not even close. <laughs> he said, I hate you and escape rooms. <laughs> um. Prince of Persia, great game. All right, let's find another game. Let's find another day of the game. He replied, which is very polite to begin with, and said, "Oh, sorry, kind of busy." And I think at that point we'd had no cool guests on the show, so he was like, "Who are these losers?" I believe it was his real. Wait, that's process. not how it happened. Wait. <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes daily game. All right, Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, we'll definitely try again sometime. Should have tried during the actor strikes. We should have tried Ugh. when they released Spider Man Two. Ah, and he was like, "It's part of the press tour." Hey, everybody! This is a really, really bad. They're doing a thing right now where all of the uh, things are critics hate them rom coms. I I don't know what to do with this. We've had voice actors on the show. Yeah, surely some of them know Yuri. I assume they would. We could get them to bother Yuri. <laughs> we could be like, hey, Yuri. Yeah, we'll just we'll get, one, get a repeat guest and say, hey, bring Yuri and Tara. Well, and you know who we said You know who we said should get come back on the show when mm-hmm. we saw him in LA? We, were like, we said um, that Jason should come back on. That's true. We, we can get Jason Ritter back, on, back on and he can bring Yuri. I don't know if he has any connection to Yuri Lowenthal, but we'll make we'll him find one. Find, we'll make him forge. We'll like, you go and forge a connection. Someone right. check Jason Ritter's IMDb and see if he's done something with Yuri. Yuri isn't um, everything. I can't imagine. Yeah, everyone's done. Uh, we've probably done a show with Yuri. Okay. All right. I don't remember any awful, awful rom-coms from 2009. Yeah, what's a really bad rom-com? What about uh, three words? Down see, with love. The thing is, that's nah, too late for down with love. The thing is, so far, we have not heard of uh, Yeah, they're so bad movies. that we've never even heard of them. I, some of them just didn't make it to Australia. Like one of them was, what was it? I mean... Yeah, Medea's Family Reunion. If you ever wanted to know what kind of movie plays deaf children falling into a sinkhole for laughs, look no further. Jack and Jill. I have no idea. Director Phil Trail and screenwriter Kim Barker 
two people I've never heard of, should take some credit for attempting something original, but ultimately what they came up with is an ensemble cast of non-entities and the overriding feeling that they're exploiting the lead character. Okay, an ensemble the terrible rom-com. Full of actors we don't know. Yeah, not a clue. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll do six degrees of Yuri Lowenthal until it kills us. I got nothing. So just keep clicking. Yeah, just go next clue. On paper, a crazy rom-com starring Sandra Bullock and Bradley Cooper. What? What is this show? Failure to launch. No. I don't know. I don't know. 2009 is a very 2009 early for Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper, Sandra Bullock, really, really bad romance movie? Hmm. Not a clue. Yeah, sorry, Wordy. You're not a you're not a real voice actor until you've done a project with Yuri Lowenthal. An oddly creepy, sour film featuring a heroine so desperate and peculiar that audiences have been more likely to pity than root for her. This doesn't. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I'm gonna hit next, and we're gonna find out that yeah. this was all about Steve. I think I faintly heard that title, <gasps> but she's a puzzle creator. Uh, oh, fun! A crossword puzzle creator. Oh. Boo. Boo. I hate those things. They're not real. No, it just means that you've got a goal to strive for. Yeah, it's on your bucket list. All right. Box office? Uh, yeah, let's jump over to box office game. Ooh, this is a good year. Ooh, is it? Wait, is it's this okay. a good year? It's okay. 1999? We were conscious because hmm. I can tell you movies that I saw in 2009. There you go. Now it fits for everybody. <laughs> uh, April 30th, 2009. So things that I am pretty sure I saw in 2009. Really, A Bug's Life, I think, might have taken a while to get here or something. Well, I think we, got it's no, a we got no Disney. No, no. I think it's a 1998 movie, technically. Um, so 1999. Am I saying 2009 by mistake? Stop saying 2009. Say 1999. Whatever. The last thing was 2009. Yeah, whatever. 1999 was what I was thinking. Uh, I know that I saw The Sixth Sense in 1999. We could try The Sixth My Sense. My parents took me to see The Sixth Sense. Why don't we try The Sixth Sense? Not on you there. You Okay, let's keep checking. Get some actors? Yep. A Catherine Zeta-Jones first build 20th century Fox movie from 19... Is it Entrapment? That would be my first guess. Let's try Entrapment. Entrapment. It was on trap That's good because I didn't have a second. Yeah, that's, that is true. Uh, Warner this Brothers. This is a big Warner Brothers movie. Keanu oh, it's Reeves. Just the it's The Matrix. <laughs> what a fantastic movie. As soon as we retcon it, so they're computers yeah. instead of batteries. <sighs> so, wait, what? what is the sixth sense? What, sir? Do you mean like a rating? Danny was not oh, old yeah. enough to see The Sixth Sense. No, I was not. My parents took me to see it. They shouldn't have. It was bad. It scarred me bad. Since that day, Danny's never talked to a ghost. Gave me my first stress stomach ache. I was in literal pain after seeing that movie. I've never heard a certificate uh, referring to no. uh, the rating for a film. Um... Yeah, and Catherine Zeta Jones wouldn't get first Surely billing Zora in a Zorro. Would get first yeah, you give it sometimes, to Banderas. Sometimes these have weird, they do have uh, weird cast sometimes. orders, so it's not unreasonable. Eddie Murphy, 1999. 1999. What's going to be most likely for that? Too late for Doolittle. Perhaps not too late for Doolittle 2. Do, let's try Too Little. Let's try Too Little, Too Late. But oh, he had a lot of movies. It was a three? It's not Dr. Doolittle 2. I didn't know there was is a it three. Daddy Daycare? I think it's too early for Daddy Daycare. Why don't daycare? we get a tagline? There's too many yeah, Eddie Murphy movies. It. it could be bloody The Clumps. It could be The Clumps. It could be The Nutty Professor 2. It could be I Forgot About The Nutty Professor. Share it with someone you love. I don't know what this movie is. Cursed Chocolate. I don't know what this is at all. What Eddie Murphy would be Share It With Someone You Love. Actor 2? Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence. I don't know what this movie is. I don't is. know Martin Lawrence very well at all. I'm going to reveal all and we're going to give up on this movie. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Two men in 1930s Mississippi become friends after being sentenced to 
life in prison together for a crime they did not commit. The movie is called Life. I don't know this movie. I do not know this movie. But, hey, you know what's annoying about this? Hey, hey, everybody, you know what's annoying about me not knowing this movie? You know what I, saw, was, I, you know what I was watching this morning? Mm. Uh, in bed before I got out of bed on my phone? Mm. I was watching a clip from the movie Life starring Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence in prison. I literally watched a clip of this movie this morning. Ouch. And I didn't look up what the movie was called. It was a scene in which like this character was trying to steal this character's food and Eddie Murphy was like, don't give him your food. And he was like, but it, I don't, I'm not going to eat it anyway. No, don't do it. More. It was a whole big thing. I watched that this morning. That's amazing. So I have failed us all. Oh, and yeah, Shrek was 2001. And again, Eddie Murphy probably second billing. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to know. That's one movie I haven't heard of. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Hmm. If anyone knows what I was singing, you get 100 points. Now, I never saw her movies like Never Being Kissed. So I don't know what year that is. 1999. Okay. Charlie's Angels was not impossible. I thought I that was 2000. Oh, 2000. 2001, okay. something like that. Uh, but I also, not 100% sure if she'd get top billing. Uh, I feel like Cameron Diaz was more you'd famous. You'd probably go that. Diaz, Barrymore, Lou. Not sure. Curious. But, but it could be any order. Mm. Huh. Great movie. Great Sam Rockwell character. Never been kissed. Never seen it. Seems uncomfortable. It seems like one of those things that just hasn't aged well societally. Robert De Niro, Warner Brothers. I'm being mocked, aren't I? No, well, no I'm doing the De Niro face. Yeah, you're mocking me and my De Niro face. <laughs> I can't do the De Niro face, but it's fun to try and do what I you can picture do people Zac Efron are doing, doing the De Niro face do the... in Bad Neighbors. <laughs> the other one that I was uh, uh, considering <laughs> was um, Ever After. For De Niro? Uh, no, oh, no, for, for, for Drew Barrymore. Barrymore, but I thought that was a hint too early. It is true. There is. I know billing is always weird. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, and whether you get with or and in your TV show credits. What do you oh, think boy, that about drama. analyze this? That's not bad. Let's try analyze this. Well done. Oh, baby. Lisa Kudrow? We watched this not that many years ago. I watched this so many years ago. What are you talking about? But we watched it together. A hundred years ago. <laughs> All right, that was okay. 58th percentile. We passed. Movie With a great. zero, that's not bad. Uh, what's next? Uh, yeah, one movie that we just hadn't heard of. Uh, yeah, movie to movie. Movie to movie. Every time. I don't know why. I don't even know what I'm doing when I do that. I think I'm doing um, zero to hero. Zero oh. to hero. Okay. Okay, it's a hero. All right, the help. The help to Top Gun Maverick. Right. The help I can do it in a couple, I think. Emma Stone's done something with J.K. Simmons, yeah? Ooh, yeah. He's in one something Spider-Man-y, right? Oh, I don't. I wasn't going for Spider-Man. I was trying to go for something else. Is he in La La Land? I don't know. It's not impossible. I feel like they've done something together. Yeah, maybe. And then, you know. And then you go Miles, Miles Teller, Teller. Whiplash to Maverick. But yeah, that's a three. Can we do Octavia Spencer? Yeah. Viola Davis? Yeah. Those are the only three people I know that are in that movie. Should we find out maybe there's a man in it that can get us to that man movie? Yeah, let's have a look at the Daily Channel. Let's, let's, let's have a look By at By that I movies. mean, I could not tell you if there is a woman in Maverick. Bryce Dallas Howard. What oh, is she in? Um, uh, Jurassic. Jurassic. And Jessica Chastain is in... Lots of things. Arrival. No. Who's that? That's Amy Adams. That's Amy Adams? Yeah. Ridiculous. Alison Janney. Alice and Janney is in Finding Nemo. Apparently. She's also in I, Tonya. We can also just look for people who are in movies with Tom Cruise. I know that. I would love that. I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> Anna Camp. No. Who do you look like? She are looks you like the good one from wife? The Good Wife. Is Anna Camp in The Good Wife? Christopher Lowell, Lowell who is in Glow. Which really? Is a, uh, he looks like John Krasinski to me. No, he's in Glow. He's the guy from Glow. Um, okay, there were like no men in this movie. David Oyelowo. He's in stuff. Movie stuff? Movie stuff. I don't know what I'm thinking of though. Hmm. But he's in stuff. 
Yeah, I can't name Jessica Chastain movies. There's no reason for it. Oh, Mary Steenburgen. Mary Steenburgen. There's no reason I can't name Jessica Chastain movies. And if you name a movie, I will probably say, oh, yeah, I can feel the connections there. But I just can't name one off the top of my head ever. She's one of my blank spots. Through no fault of her own. I feel like it's rude to have Jessica Chastain and Bryce Dallas Howard in a movie that's, together. That's what people are saying. That's what Giles is saying. Oh, there you go. So, uh, you know, we're on the same page. We know what we're talking about here. Uh, okay. Uh, can we see who's in Top Gun? Outside of Tom Cruise and Miles Teller, I don't know. Oh, it's Tom Cruise, Miles Teller. It's John Hamm. That's Glenn not going to help me. None of these people are people. Jennifer Connelly is a person. Again, not one I come up with. Ed, Ed Harris. Harris. Val, Val Kilmer. Kilmer. Oh, Manny Jacinto. Ed Harris is in everything. Who's Manny Jacinto? What? Uh, from The Good Place. Oh. Never learned his name. No, I just saw his face. I know you can't do that. I know you don't have that skill. All right. Man, we're watching Survivor tonight, and they've just merged, so everyone's wearing the same color buff. And there are two young white dudes, and the only way I could tell them apart, apparently, was that one of them wore a shirt less frequently than the other. So if one of them was topless, great, I knew which one it was. If one of them was wearing a shirt, it was the other one. But it's been cold and wet, so they're both wearing shirts, and now I can't tell who's who. Yeah. Miles Teller yeah. is in the elite, the Divergent movies, oh, which we just saw had him. Octavia Spencer. Oh, As the one who was the head okay, of the... go for a legion. Go for so a legion. Go for a legion. Oh, you're right. Which has Octavia Spencer. Just type her in. Because she's oh, the head of the peaceful farming people. We caught this on TV and we just turned it on and went, we'll just watch this bad movie. Miles, tell Octavia Spencer. Yeah. Allegiant. Yeah. Come she on, everybody. Was, she was head of the... Ab- she was head of the... Aberration. Abdignation. The, the farmers. Yeah, the farmers. And, and then... And they, good, and good they took shelter in the farmhouse. And then... They came in looking for divergence, and Miles Teller betrayed them, oh, and and oh, then they got him, and then oh, other stuff probably happened. She's gonna be I don't know. put into a simulation a chamber to get her allegiant di- divergent energy oh, out of her. Because she's so divergent. Because she's so divergent that her brain can open a magic box. This is what I understood, and we stopped watching. Yeah, it's just very nice when something that you've learned recently becomes the answer. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's get ourselves away from movie to movie and towards movie grid. Thank you. You didn't F eleven. You've you've embarrassed us by exposing our tabs. I can't do it. Thank you. Our embarrassing, embarrassing tabs. Hey, did everybody hear about our lizard saga? We have a we oh. we have lizards in our house. Um, Little geckos, not ones that we own or anything. They just they've house moved geckos. into their house. Geckos. Invasive but friendly. But cool. They moved in to eat bugs. And uh, one day we found one and we thought it was dead because it was sitting on our windowsill. Normally, as soon as we see them, they scurry into yeah, a crevice scurry and run. And this one didn't move. So we thought that's a dead lizard sitting on our windowsill. How sad. But then closer inspection, it was breathing. And we like, why is this thing breathing and not that's, moving? That's what I'm saying, Tim. And we thought, okay, this is odd. And then, so we gave it. A, I got a little like a like a chopstick, and I gave it a little poke, and I wheel, and it and it didn't move, but it wanted to. Like it moved its head, but its body didn't move. And I realized that the piece of uh, of uh, the tile, tile is right next to a plant. Yeah, that and so we, we don't have? really cl- a plant that's got spiders in it, and so we don't really clean it that much, and it got, and it's just been gotten really sticky from like kitchen stuff. And it was stuck completely to this tile. We don't know if it was already sick and therefore got stuck or whether it like lay down to bask in the sun and then just couldn't stuck. move again. So I got this chopstick under it and I, and I rolled its tail out and I rolled its feet out and I ro- it and it was, was trying it was getting snapping, so mad. It was kissing. biting and but it couldn't get me because I was a stick. Um and I, and I freed it, but it did not want to move. It was like I'm done because I have no idea how long it was stuck there. We tried to give it a little bit of water. Um, cause I thought maybe it was, you and know, and I accidentally dropped water on its head. Yeah. Got a little bit of water. There. It jumped down to a corner and it stayed there for hours and hours and hours. Did not move. Didn't run away from us. And then it very, very slowly moved its way into our sink. 
And then it was sitting in our sink. And we thought it was going to like fall down the hole. And it did. And then it did. By design. It and lived to. down there for and a so while. so for a couple of days it was living in our sink and we just didn't use it too much. And eventually, eventually, like three days later, it seemed healthy enough to get places because we, we saw it standing, like sitting on the floor of our kitchen, looking up at us as we as we were walking around at like 11 o'clock at night. Um, still clearly not 100% because the light was on and it didn't scatter too much, but it looked at us and then ran under our sink, uh, under our fridge. And it seems like now it's back to living its normal life. So if I haven't seen it for a while. If you've got especially keen eyes and our webcam is feeling especially yeah, maybe good, you'll see a who little knows? Lizard. Yeah, maybe somewhere in there is lizard. But it, for days it was just not doing, it was just sitting in our sink, not moving, it would, and it like wouldn't react. It wouldn't react at all. I thought it was blind now. And maybe it is. Maybe it's a blind I lizard I still now. don't think it's blind. Um, but I think it was just taking a while to recuperate. And so now it's, uh, it seems like it's living its best life. All right. Jason Sudeikis is the one in Where the Millers? Yes, with Jennifer Aniston. I get him and Jason Bateman and Ed Helms and all of those people confused. Jason Sudeikis in another comedy? I can't name other Jason Sudeikis I think he's in both Horrible Bosses. Oh, really? Alongside Jason Jason Bateman. Bateman. Oh, well, come on. I think it's Bateman, Sudeikis, and then Charlie Day. Not Helms? Oh, my God. I don't think it's Helms. Okay. I think he's Horrible Bosses. Okay. And then he's probably horrible bosses too. Uh, there's no you in horrible. <laughs> you idiot. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Adam. I'm an idiot, but there's no me in horrible. It's all good. I found the horrible bosses is fun. I actually, I say that. I don't remember horrible bosses too. I don't remember if I saw it. At least I found horrible bosses one fun. I love house sparrows. I love house rat. Rat's great. Keep the rat. Oh, He's hanging house out. house rat. What's a rat going to do other than just enjoy, make your a, life more cheerful? A rat could bite you a little no, bit. No. A rat's going to do a little dance for you. It's going to get a, a little hat. A rat may or may not run away instantly like a gecko. A rat's going to do... Rat, when you find it, it's going to stand up on its hind legs and go, Sorry, monsieur. And then run off. Because mm. that's what rats do. House sparrows behind a cupboard. That's quite something. At least, yeah, at least they could get to the outside. I once as a child had a possum living in my wall and it sounded at night like it was trying to dig its way towards my head. Scared the crap out of me before I knew it was a possum. This is correct, right? Yep. Jennifer Aniston, Adam Sandler, just go with it. Could have also gone murder mystery. Oh, I could have gone murder mystery. Adam Sandler, has he ever done a comedy? Hmm. Uh, Let's go for Little Nicky. There's only one. Let's go Little Nicky. And click. And click. Little clicky. There you go. There Couple are a of lot of Adam Sandler. They're only low rank because he's got so many movies. Vance Vaughn. Cool. That's the breakup, right? Oh, nice. Vance Vaughn. Is the Ooh. only one? Okay. Vance um, Vaughn Chomed. Well, see, I instantly want to go the Night Watch, but I don't know what that's called. Yeah, America. so let's just go Wedding Crash yeah, Hours. Sure. Wedding. I'm so sad hours. that I can't go to the Lost World. And he was in Dodgeball, right? Uh, I get Dojibay? all of these confused. I believe he was in Dodgeball. And we have completed that the grid. That was pretty chill. I would have had trouble with Jason Sudeikis because he's one of my face blurs. But beyond that, it was all good. Yeah, if the answer's not right, they just don't accept it. They'll tell you yes. to get out of here. They'll say, you suck. What's wrong with 2000? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, 2000 not 2004. 2004. No, they're always quite large. Uh, yeah, they give ranges. you decades in that. Uh, off to Actor, I think. <gasps> Actor. So we got to get the Actor in one, or we'll have disgraced ourselves in front of our family. Here we go. Okay, 996 start. That bud's all right for us. 7.6 drama, 1996. 1998. I was looking for that movie specifically for no reason. I was looking for that. Oh, hold on, then give me a second. A romance, I know what that is. It was in my head. A romance history comedy. It was in my head. Something of? Nope. Two? Nope. In? Yep. Shakespeare in Love. I was looking. For, it was just in my head. All right, so they're in Shakespeare in Love. Okay, that's a couple of people. Who's in Shakespeare in now, Love? Now, the problem is. Judy Dench? Yes, that's fine. She's going to be have a career before 1996. But sometimes they just cut off. They just well, that could there. be like Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Was that Judy Dench? That was... Which one's Elizabeth and which one's the Queen? And which... And well, Kate Blanchett was Elizabeth. Okay. Well, was so she in Shakespeare in Love? No. Okay. Not to my knowledge. 
but um, Judy Dench was the queen then. She's also played Elizabeth. Oh, but maybe, maybe she, she was also in Elizabeth. She might have been in Elizabeth. Either way, we'll be able to confirm that for sure. Oh, a horror movie? That doesn't sound like a horror okay, movie. Okay, now, here's the real problem. Yeah. So Gwyneth Paltrow, sure. I didn't okay. see Sliding Doors yet, but maybe maybe that's later. I thought that was 90s, but whatever. Um, Joseph Fiennes. Oh, Joseph Fiennes? And that would be a problem for me. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what I'm are just... we skipping past here? Lord of the Rings. That's not Legend of the Guardians. Guardian, Rise of the Guardians. Guardians oh, there's two of them in a row. What? Shank of the Schlonk. Schlank of the Schlonk. Pirates of the Caribbean? Huh. Was there one in 2003? Yes, there was. Okay, so they're in all the Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Keira, is it Keira Knightley? She was in Shake Brown One from Orange, and she was in um, Star Wars Episode One. Yeah, they don't have Star Wars here. Is uh, it Johnny um, Depp? Was he in Shakespeare in Love? Nope. Was it Mackenzie Crook? Okay, was it Jeffrey was Rush? Was it Jeffrey That's Rush? That's not impossible. We look for mystery men. Action, fantasy, advent, action, mystery comedy, man. sci-fi, mystery men. This is Jeffrey Rush. Okay. I know um, they probably don't have brand new I day. Can I use one for the mid 2000s to confirm? Yeah, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the life and death of Peter Sellers. <laughs> I don't, I don't <sighs> see it. Ridiculous. But I think maybe it's Jeffrey Rush. What else do we look for, Jeffrey Rush? More Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Jeffrey Rush. We rush it up. He's in Mystery Men. We go Jeffrey Rush. We believe in ourselves. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah, Shine I was Shine. Uh, expecting Shine. as well. Health got. Health got. No, no, no. Les Cinder. It was Elizabeth. Les Miserables. I didn't know he was Elizabeth. in Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love. Mystery Men, where he plays. Do you remember who he plays in Mystery Men? He... Name of his character? Oh, name of his character? You know the name of the character Goodness in Mystery Men? Gracious, it's a great no. name. It's one of the best names in cinema. No. Does anyone Which in the comments know it? the name of the character that Jeffrey Rush plays in Mystery Men? Quacktacular. He plays the main villain. Yep. He plays the nemesis to um, Greg Kinnear's character. Okay. Does anyone know his name? I don't remember. Someone, I'm going to give you a chance in the chat to put his name once. down before I tell Danny. Why is Life and Death of Peter Sellers not here? Two Australian. It was up for Oscars on Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly. Finding Nemo. Do they, do they have Brand New Day? Oh, this okay. one has Brand New Day. Well, that's interesting. Maybe he wasn't in that Legend movie. Legend of the Guardians. Legend of the Guardians. Yeah, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Yes, his name was Casanova Frankenstein. Oh, what a great name. What a great character. Where did my phone go? What a great movie. Is that my phone? No. Where did my phone this go? This is my phone. I was looking the, up dinosaurs. You were looking up dinosaurs. Did you, well, you went to the other what? room when you were looking at uh, PlayStation games. Perhaps when you went over there, you left it on the bed. No, I put it on charge. Oh, you put it on charge. I'm smart. Can I use your phone? What do you need my phone for? Life and Death of Peter Sellers was a TV movie. Does that mean that I watched the Golden Globes one year? Maybe you watched the Golden Globes. Because I thought I'd only ever watched the Oscars. It was on HBO. Yeah, wild. I really thought it was a movie because I know I had seen it up for awards. You're going to text your mother late at night to be like, I got it in one, you idiot. She also got it in one. Yeah, but you have to. But yeah, I can do that. All right, we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. We have Bridget Jones's Diary. Zonzon Zonzon We have Cold Mountain and we have Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know anything about Brooklyn. I don't know anything about Brooklyn. No, Until this moment, I didn't know it came out in 2015. We've seen it show up in our grids and things before and we've skipped it because we didn't know it. But that's okay. We know plenty of people from these other movies. Okay. Bridget Jones's diary, Sans 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 is that Colin Firth? No, he was a he was a he was Pride and Prejudice uh, on TV or something. He was, yeah. Bleh. Um. Okay. So Bridget Jones's diary. It's probably not Renee Zellweger. That doesn't no, make any maybe sense. Maybe it's Hugh Grant. It's not impossible. Maybe it's but Rupert Everett. Is he in that movie? He's in either of these movies? I don't know about Sense and Sensibility. Uh, all I know is Emma Thompson, which we can do for Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Emma Thompson. Now, yeah, the problem is Bridget Jones' Diary has a kick-ass cast. 
and I would have used that for other Harry Potters to connect it with as well. For example, uh, Jim Broadbent. Oh, put Broadbent. He could be Broadbent. Anywhere. Broadbent. Give me that Broadbent. Nah. Oh. So yeah, there are people in Bridget Jones. Oh. Um, like um, Sally Phillips is. Phillips, in it. Phillips. Give me lots um, of Phillips. Is I don't think Thompson she'd in be it? in it. Not to my knowledge. Like Sally Phillips fills her role. Well, let's put Emma Thompson as an Oscar-winning yeah. actress. Uh, has she won for acting? I think she won for acting as well. In some, in, I, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to try it. Okay. There you go. Normally they specify that, yeah, they have to have won their Oscar for acting. All right. Well, Cold Mountain. Cold that is Renee Zellweger. Cold Mountain. All right. No one gets the song I was singing earlier. It was Pure Massacre by, uh, the, by Silverchair. Australia's answer to Nirvana. <laughs> um, does she want an Oscar? Renee Zellweger, Is quite possibly, but Nicole Kidman most certainly has. Oh, lovely. Uh, is Nicole Kidman in Harry Potter? Not so much. Not so much. Who's in Harry Potter oh, and all boy, of the This fans? is the problem. Bridget Jones and Harry Potter have such big casts. Yeah. But this is more American Cold Gary Mountain. Gary Oldman. So I was trying to think of any Americans, but Harry Potter was notoriously light on Americans. Yeah, really, Gary old man. Sure. Danny, there's no Gary, in. the old man. Okay, this is flailing a bit. Yeah, I uh, don't know maybe anything about it. Either. Let's go. Let's attempt some Brooklyn's from Bridget What's Jones. It? Okay, okay, Bridget Jones, Brooklyn. Let's go for Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. Yes. Oh my God, where the hell did that come from? All right, Brooklyn. All right, so English people are clearly in this. Uh, Imelda. All right, we got Imelda Staunton. Oh, no. whatever. Maggie. We got Maggie Smith. Smith. No. Okay, we are going. Wait, Jim Broadbent? <laughs> he, was He's he in Order of Phoenix? No, not He's yet. Not Slughorn? Yeah, that's not. He wasn't in Order of Phoenix. Phoenix. Damn. Um. Okay. Uh. Gambon. Michael Gambon. No. All right, can't be any of the old people because they didn't need to do any other movies after They're Harry Potter. They were in done. Brooklyn. I don't think that's true. I think we'd know that. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe who played Blaze Zabini? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, maybe Felton's in Brooklyn. Yeah, I don't think they. <laughs> Probably not. I feel like those people were contracted for life to do nothing else. Hmm. Let's do. Uh, what one. about Helena Bonemkada? Yeah, that'll do. Ah. All right, let's just give up. That won't do. What about uh, Ray Fiennes? It's Rafe Fiennes. Okay, uh, we clearly up. are out. Uh, all right, we could have had Hugh Grant. Yeah, cool. We suggested that. We just forgot about it. Brendan Gleeson. Julie Walters. Jim Julie Broadbent won Walt an Oscar? Yeah, he won for being Bro Jim Broadbent. I didn't know that. I have no idea what he oh, won well, an Oscar we for. We still passed. We got five out of nine, so that's we, we win. All right, we've got a couple more to do. We're going to do Pokey Doku. Yeah, we are. Um, We're going to win it. going to win it hard. We might not win it. Okay. Who's the guy who plays Vernon Dursley? Richard Griffiths. Richard Griffiths. That would have also been a very good guess for things. He's like uh he's like a he's like a he's like a spiky uh, Jim My one Broadbent. query is I don't remember if he appeared in Order <laughs> of the Phoenix or not. No fair. Okay, uh, these are actually difficult. Yeah, a normal poison. Okay, normal fighting was the bewares and things, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think beware. Nice. Fighting flying was uh, Moultrie's... Malt no, yeah. no, Zapdos. But the Galarian Zapdos nice. is fighting flying. Normal evolved by item is Delcaddy, right? Delcaddy. I love it. I mean, there are others, but... A flying evolved by item is this shouldn't be hard. Uh, it's pretty hard, I think. No. I think it's pretty hard. No. I think it's real hard. That's interesting. That shouldn't be hard. It'll okay, be a okay. secondary type. Okay, well hold off. It'd be like if you gave Magic up a Water stones it's making Gyarados, mm. but that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, mm. I'll think about, I'll, I'll think on that one. We'll think on that one. What can about something involved by, evolved by an item can learn ice beam? What about Iceon? You know, I don't Glaceon. know, but I don't know if that's evolved by stone. Oh. Like, just go with any water type. I'll go with uh, Polyroth. Polyroth, but is that, 
Of all by Adam? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. That was a trade. Nice. Okay. Fighting, a fighting can, can learn, learn ice beam. beam. <laughs> Hitting on beam. Uh, yeah, oh, wait. Ice beam is pretty generic, but uh, I'm not sure. If we go poison that can learn ice beam, I think the Nitto King and Nitto Queen can. Nitto King can learn anything he wants. What's poison flying? Zubat? I mean, nicely done. That says Golbat, It man. does. I said oh, Zubat? I like it better. They're both fine, but I like Golbat better. I really What's like Golbat. What's poison normal? That's so weird. That's interesting. Like a guy with some poison. You want a dog that's holding a potion Or that's of got poison. some like poison spikes on his body. Hmm. Trading with item would count if that's what causes it to evolve. Hmm. Um... It can be flying and go to flying. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fighting that can learn ice beam. <laughs> Stonefish in real life, normal poison. That's fair. But quillfish will be water type. Um, yeah, this could well be something super normal. Like, it might just be that Machamp can learn it. Ice beam is pretty easy machamp, to machamp, learn. Machamp, machamp, Do you want to go machamp, for machamp, it? Machamp, 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 machamp. No. You fool. Flying of all by item. Yeah, this is really annoying to not be able to get that. Yeah, and we've already passed, so it's okay. But <sighs> Double Jumper, what generation is the one you're thinking of from? Because I'm a striving. And I'm not finding it. Gen 2. Oh, but the evolution comes later. The only one I could think of was Togekiss, but I don't know how to evolve that. Ooh. Like, I don't know how that evolves. Um, Yan Mega, I don't know how that evolves. Go Togekiss. I don't even know if it's flying. Yeah, it it's just has, flying. It has wings. But That's I, the most flying thing I've ever seen yeah, in my but life. But it may well not evolve with an item. But if it does, you'll feel great. No, I won't. Yeah, you will. I'll show you. Do you feel great? 47.4. <laughs> Maybe there's not many. Maybe it's only Togekiss. Yeah, I guess there aren't many. Okay, come on. There's got to be like a fighting We only got one water. more. A fi uh, like, I feel like I'm going to get fighting before I get the poison normal. All right. Okay, there's got to be some sort of water fighting type. Krogunk? That's poison fighting. Um. Not many ice fighters. Um, punching Jinx. Punching Jinx. Do you think about Punching Jinx? Mm. It's a Jinx that punches. Hmm. I got no idea. Damn. Ah, might have been able to get Polyroth in there. Oh dang. Ah, oh, I got a Gliscor. Fair enough. What about Politoed? I think that's fighting. Dang. Polyroth is the one that punches. But I don't even know if it actually does that. Well, I would I say. So we don't waste too much time. Take a quick guess and then we'll move on. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Helpful. All right. What about a... I'm going to try and think of a normal poison. A normal poison. I think like a dog that has poison. Some kind of poison dog. A dog with shifty eyes. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Why can't I think of fighting Pokemon? Well, I like uh, Metacham. That was the la most recent one that I had in my head. I like Metacham. Yeah, I... Look at Metacham. That's yeah. the iciest guy in the world. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Game stats. So, first of all... Grafai and Shrudel. That wasn't going to happen. Hey, we were never going to get Grafai or Shrudel. I've never heard of those Pokemon. Not so, Poison happen. Normal was out of our, was out of our capacity. Krogat, Golbat, Zubot. Only, only Poison Flying. Ah, Zubot. Zubot, I love him. And poison, poison and ice, ice beams. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, just pick anything. Uh, no Beware, anyway. low punny, stuffle, and meliata pirouette. What was this? Oh. Flying fighting. Flying fighting. We got Horlucha, Flamigo. Zapdos, and Flamigo. Gotcha. Here. Yeah, Polyroth again. Polyroth. Yeah. Crabominable. Yeah, fair enough. Mewtwo Mega X. Get low out of here. Feromosa and Low Punny Mega. Wild. Wiggle E. Tough. Yeah, I'm so sorry. These I should have. 
should have put something else for the um evolved by. <gasps> Thank you so much for following. Thank you, you. Cool person. If you don't say boof in the chat right now, you're banned. <laughs> Um, Ugh. Polygon, Polygon, Wigglytuff. We should have remembered Wigglytuff, but we didn't need we it. Did. We got Del Cabby. Yeah, I did remember it. Um, but yeah, should have put something else for that so I could save Polyroth. Thank I didn't, you. I didn't think about saving Polyroth. Toge Kiss gl Gliscor. You nice. were right. You were right to think of Gliscor. Honchkrow needs an item. Good to know. Well, apparently gl mm. uh, Gliscor is like level up while it's holding an item. Yeah, sure. I, like, so who knows? Honchkrow could be like... If it, it, yeah, it very well could. Pokemon evolve in weird ways now. Ingression. Yeah, there were so many Vaporeon. options for this. I'm so sorry. I should have saved it. Vaporeon? My bad. I told you to use Vaporeon. No, you no, didn't. I told you to use Glaceon. Yes, which I didn't know. All right. That was fair. All right. Um, Thank you for saying boof. Sinertle. Sine to Nerdle. Let's do it. Everybody loves Sine to Nerdle. It's the greatest of the movie games. Because you have to do connections. I should play um, Metazoo as well. That's too many ga games. I like Metazoo. It's not. It doesn't take long. All right, here we are, everybody. All right, I Can see Dolls see and Kate McKinnon and Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. There you go. That's like massive for us. In fact, that's too big for us. I see Dolls and Kate McKinnon and see, Ryan Gosling and bottom left. Kate McKinnon and, and Ryan Gosling next to her. Ryan Gosling. And Margot Robbie. And Margot Robbie. See, Matthew McConaughey, Jessica Chastain, and Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to ignore it for a while. Yeah. I see Ryan Johnson, Anna de Armas, Murder Mystery. Chris with Evans. Chris Evans. And I see, I see Harrison see Ford, Archaeology, Nazis. Solid. Okay. Matthew McConaughey, Jessica Chastain, Artificial Intelligence, and Michael Caine. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's... Interstellar. That has artificial intelligence? I was going to see Steven Spielberg, artificial intelligence. But I don't think it's relevant to any of these other things. I wouldn't have thought so. I see Ryan Gosling, Nazis. Anna de Armas, artificial intelligence, huh? Harrison Ford, Blade Runner 2049. Is Anna de Armas in that? I believe, yes. How about that? I had no idea. Blade Runner 2049, a movie I've never Lunch seen. Crow, Dusk Stone, Toke Kiss, Shiny Stone, Fair. Interstellar has that blocky robot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how much that robot featured in the pitch meeting for Interstellar, which means I'm not aware of it. All right. Well, oh, they've already, already got given three us one. So first of all, oh, well, we would have gotten them. Okay, everybody first playing of all, along we at can't, home. Ha how many of these movies have you seen? How many of these seen? movies have you seen? Weirdly, it, I've never seen It's a Wonderful does Life. Does it count? We watched like 10 minutes of it at your parents' no, place No, I've seen It's a Wonderful Life. Okay. What is it? I've seen 10 minutes of so many of these movies. But if we're counting whole movies. Are you kidding me? I I've seen seven. I've only got six. I have seen. What's the extra one? No, no, let me figure out which the extra one is that you've seen. Yellow Submarine? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Yellow that. Submarine I've seen so many times as a kid. I watched that movie like 50 times. Rear Window, Yellow Submarine, Dude Where's My Car, uh, Airplane, An American Tale, Five Will Goes West. Mr. Smith goes to Washington and South Park. Yeah, my uh, same here, just minus Yellow Submarine. I have seen 10 minutes of It's a Wonderful Life, 10 minutes of North by Northwest, um, probably 10 minutes of World, 10 minutes of World War Z. Now, I'm going to say Rear Window, Stranger on the Train, North by Northwest, yeah, Hitchcocks, Murder, Done. Hitchcocks. Rear Window, It's a Wonderful Life, Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Oh, well, oh but you can't take it with you, you reckon, is also him? Yes. Solid. So I think these are the Jimmy Stewarts. Fair. East, An American West, tale, West, West uh, uh, and... World War West. Um, South it? Park. South Just Park. So these have cardinal directions. Then we've got... X, Z, X, Q, Z, M. Q, and M. And then, and then they've got forms of transport. Car, oh. submarine, train, and airplane. All righty. That was pretty easy. Mode of transport, single letter, the outfit, cardinal direction, Jimmy Stewart, Alfred Hitchcock. Fair enough. And the Cine 2 Nerdle is completed. That was, pretty, that was pretty quick. On Just to the enough, connections. Enough time to leave us for a Metazoo because we got through that so quickly. But connections first. We got a Smash Doll as well if you want to do that. I would love to do Smash Doll as well. Oh. And then we finish with a single game of Quop. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right. Let's Welcome take everybody a look at these to the things. connections. Mm -hmm. Um. 
what have we got? Cellophane. Things that John C. Riley sings about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, plod. There's a... Um, Mr. Plod. Yeah, Mr. Plod or, 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 or Constable Plod. There's some policeman plod. Yeah, Mr. Plod. Um, a glove box compartment. Mm-hmm. Bassinet is for a baby and a mask is for a baby. Oh, supple and limber mean the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and I saw and elastic. elastic. I wasn't 100% sure and where to plastic. go from there. I wasn't convinced by that, but we can give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay, cool. Flexible. All right. To trudge and to plod and to stomp. And to lumber. And to lumber are all synonymous with glompen. Walk yeah. heavily. That's glompen. what I said. Uh, okay, probably not things that you wear. Uh, things that almost sound like a different thing. Oh, I'm going to call you a morcellophane. I'll call you up on the morcellophane. Um, you can have a hydrofoil. Can you also have a microfoil to go with a microorganism? Microorganism, microfoil, <laughs> micro mask. Huh, okay. Uh, harpoons, you shoot at things. It has the harp speary. at the start. It has Ooh, cello. cello at the start. It has uh, organ at the start. It has bass at the start. These lovely. all begin with instrument. Well done. Um, Mask, glove, jacket, and foil. Tin foil. Tin jacket. Things you Thing, put potato, on. Potato. Things you... Uh, f- uh, to foil a plan. To jacket a plan. Um, G love. Yeah. M R F oil and J Ackett. F oil and J Ackett. Hmm. Um. Glove. Things with fingers. Mask. Hmm. You wear a mask. You wear a glove. You wear a jacket. You don't wear a foil. What else might? These are the things you need to fence. These are fencing gear. When you fence, you have a foil as your sword. The jacket is the jacket. You wear gloves, you wear a mask. This is fencing gear. Billy took fencing in school, so he is at an unnatural disadvantage. Fencing equipment. Unnatural. Fencing equipment. Uh, This is why you have hobbies growing up, for the trivia when you're older. Smashed it. It's the only reason. Smashed it, smashed it, smashed it. Metazoa? You're saying that so often that I feel like you want to do smashed all, but I would rather do metazoa first. It's better Zua. Can I have a second O in the title of it? Thank you very much. Don't know if it helped. All right. We're going to play Metazoo. We haven't played Metazoo on stream. So this is Guess the Animal based on its phylogeny. Yeah, you guess animals and it tells you, yeah, how the taxonomy is going, how the phylogeny. Let's enter the zoo. All right. What do you want to go with? I would like to start with a donkey, please. Ooh. Bilateria. Okay, it it's very nowhere far near from a donkey. a donkey. The first connector to donkey. It is probably a worm. Yeah. It, okay, let's go for a worm of some kind. Earthworm. All, All right. right. It it's is a, something wormy or mollusky. One step closer. But, okay, so it's not a round, not, not a segmented know. worm. Oh, insects count in this. That's fair. Oh, and snails, mollusks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so mollus. What do you want, mollusk or insect? Let's go for a mollusk. Okay, then we go octopus. Yeah, giant octopus. No. no. Okay, we go okay. for an insect. We go for an insect. B. It's a honeybee. We're going for a honeybee. Ooh, we're pretty close. Hmm. Okay, it is a metamorphic insect. A super order that's insect. Most, infamous, that's a lot of neopt- them. Or neoptera. They got new winds. Okay. Yeah, so the metamorphic right. insects. Let's go for a bloody fly. Let's just go for a classic old fly. Just a house fly. Mm. Just a beautiful little house fly. No, not a house fly, you idiot. Let's go for a bloody butterfly. That's what I meant when I said house fly, because my house is full of butter. Monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly. Everybody, welcome, welcome. Oh, hey, that hey, hoy ha. Was not many guesses. Welcome to the stream. Hey, hey. It's probably not a gigantic amount of stream to go, no, but you're here to see us guess about butterflies. We're in the wrap-up stages. And then to guess a bunch of Super Smash Brothers One, characters. One, two, three, four, five, six guesses. Six guesses for Metazoa. That's Metazoa's. not bad. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about Metazoa. Yeah, we're going to, we're finishing this. We're going to play Smash Doll, and then we're going to play Quop. 
All right, we're on to Smash Doll. Smash Doll is a Super Smash Brothers guessing game, and I do not know why we play it, but we do. Yeah, we're not that good at the new characters. It's start, very hard. We're going to start where well, I press I Ike. by accident, so we're going to go for Ike. You do like Ike. Not male. Partly human. Partially human. From the GameCube. From Cube. the GameCube, but before 2005. Who's a GameCube Who character? Who is partly human? Who's partly human um, and originated on the GameCube? Is Link part human? Does Link, that count? He's Hylian. probably just say Hylian. So maybe they count that as partially human? He doesn't originate on the GameCube, though. No, he doesn't originate I on the GameCube. I don't know what games originate. But particular Link's may. So like, if you go like... Oh, interesting. Um, Toon Link, I think is... Ooh. I didn't realize that was going to lock me in. <laughs> oh, they call that Legend of... The yeah, yeah, see, that's GameCube. Okay. 2002 came out the same year as Wind Waker. Okay. The game that this person is from. All right. That's interesting. He's but they're not male. They're not male. So they're is there like a, a female centaur? From the GameCube. Who's the who's the female centaur from this game? Hmm. A game that originated in 2002. A 2002 GameCube Bros. game. Not from Brawl. It was they on did not make it to Brawl. GameCube, but not on Brawl. So they're not on the GameCube. So they're, they're recent, which means I'm not happy. Mm. Um, is it? Mm. Uh, Rosalina. She's part no. human, part star. Yeah, You're but right. that's, that's, that's from the Switch, from, from the Wii. From the Wii. Uh, uh, what are some GameCube games that got here? Um, is it Pokemon Trainer? Maybe that's they're meant to be from malleable gender. That is ma maybe that's what they'll get. Surely that would give us an orange. I don't know. Right. Let's, let's give it. And they're also, maybe they're partially human because Pokemon Train is human, but also has, has Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, okay. I wouldn't have assumed that that counted as GameCube. Human Pokemon. So they do list multiple species. Do we know anyone else that has multiples like that? Who else has multiples like that? Does someone control a robot at any point? Um, who do, Does anyone control a robot at any point? That's a very good question. One to which the answer is, I don't know. Pokemon Trainer is the only one I know with multiple. So it's not selectable. This is just a female character. It's a female or genderless. And oh, oh, Pokemon Trainer was also in Brawl? Which one's Brawl? Is that the, like the 2006-ish one? This one on the GameCube. No, that's melee. that's melee. That's Melee. Yeah, Brawl is yeah, the, the later one, the Wii one. Yeah, I had no idea that Pokemon Trainer was in that. It's been a long time since I played Smash Brothers. Um, so they may have appeared in Melee, but probably not, because you probably stay in. I don't know how people are taken out of the roster. Yeah, I haven't seen that happen. Uh, what about Female. like like uh, village is selectable? What about like one of the Animal Crossing characters? Would they be part human? Maybe they part human. They're like human animals. Like Isabel. Yeah. No, it's Isabel. I don't think she's human. She's a dog. She's a dog. All right. Well, okay. Ultimate. They're from Ultimate. Okay, that's pretty recent. So they're pretty. Re they're a recent addition. But their original game was but from two thousand two. They came from the GameCube. Not Duck Hunt. Not um, bloody Duck Hunt. GameCube is not my era. I got no idea. Uh, what about? Codet. Yeah, sure. I have no idea when she originated or if she's in this game. I just started thinking about, um, you know, Mario Kart's because I don't know much about what's on GameCube. What about Dark Samus? Sure. They'd probably count that as coming from Samus. Oh. Augmented Metroid GameCube 2002. I didn't know Dark Samus was an option, but I took it. No, I did not know that. Final Smash. Well, that's a Greninja. Kind Greninja his own character? Yeah. Yep. Well, there you go. Oh no, he was getting hit by the smash. Oh, they're in a wrestling ring. It's um, it's the other one. It's um. That looks like it's um the Incineroar. Yeah. Incineroar. Okay, who did Kirby swallow? Who did Kirby swallow? Uh, Game and Watch. Game and Watch. Nice. That one I can usually do. Emoji. Red, Red shoe. shoe. Bayonetta. She does wear heels. Well done. 
and then the moon, and then a gun, and then some glasses. Amazing. Silhouette We mode. usually do badly at silhouette. Oh, that looks like Pit. This looks like... Uh, well, sure, I'll go Pit. I thought it was perhaps... Um, mm. I think it might be Simon. Oh, I don't Belmont. know Simon. I don't know his legs. No. Um, it could be Link. It could just be a Link. It does look it a bit like Link's Link. foot. It wasn't Link. What are we missing here? They've got leg warmers. They do have leg big warmers. Boots. That makes them Link. I mean, it, it could, could be Young Link. Oh, God, I guess. It was Young Link. Okay. Oh, yeah, those boots were too big for that young boy. All right. Did so you we're see? Now Did you see? Press oh, I didn't see. See his big boots? Yeah, his boots are too oh, big. Oh, too big for him. My boots oh, his arms are do not look big. right. <laughs> All right. Are we playing co op? Yeah, let's do a co op. I think you can just type in co op and it will happen. I will never. I will never just type in co op. You have to go to foddy.net. And then you click on Quop, and then you click on Play It Online for free, and then you hit F11 so that people can see, and then and then Quala. you and then you zoom in. Oops, sorry. I think there is a two-person Quop. Uh, it's called you be the Quop and I be the Op. I mean, sure, but I think there is like not co-op, but I think you can race at Quop. There is. It might be a Quop race. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh no! And so Danny's the qu and I'm the op. Lovely. So I'm controlling the cut. Wait, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, now pump those legs. Oh, oh, okay. I can't do this two player. Okay, now pump. Oh. Hold on. Now, <laughs> now, now, now pump that. <laughs> Which leg do you want me to pump? I don't know. <laughs> no! Not, not this, yeah, yeah you're good, you're good. Uh, yeah, no. No. Okay. <laughs> then just, just no. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna. I'm ready. Yeah. We're good. Oh. No. Okay. Why aren't okay. the McElroys doing this on their stream? Oh yeah, they should be quopping. <laughs> <laughs> Why no, did we, we can't go, go backwards. backwards? Can't go backwards. All right. <laughs> I can't pump my thighs anymore. All right. Do you want to take over and try and play full quop? Danny's gonna try and full quop. Danny's going full quop mode. Nope, 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 nope. That's backwards. <laughs> Come on, Foddy. Believe in yourself. And believe in yourself. And no. he still went backwards. I'll show you how to quop. Nope, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> I'll show you how to quop. You ready? <laughs> I haven't quopped in a while. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, no, you went forward. That's not how this goes. What are you doing, Billy? You're ruining it. I'm You're quopping. ruining Quop. Well, that's okay. just outrageous. That's my best Quopping. That's the best I can Quop. <laughs> PB, come back to it next week. No, I know what we need to be doing now. Uh, we, we just quickly, hold on. Wait, I'm just going to get, we're just going to have some fun. Sorry, hold on. <coughs> I'm going to stay on Foddy. I know what's coming. Uh, oh, get on top. I was thinking of... I was thinking of... What? Where are my co -op games? Where are my... I don't want more games. Where's the one where you there get There was to more other games or more browser games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me more browser games, please. I don't want co -op. There's, there's I don't two co-op. I want pole riders. Pole Riders. Pole Riders is the game. Okay. I mean, it's no sumo, but sure. We're going to play Pole Riders. I always please. win sumo. I do not always win Pole Riders. Uh, pole Riders is a, is a wide, well, is a wide game. So we'll see. Hopefully you can see it as you go. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Pole Riders? Well, uh, it's, do you are you reading it? Add on pokies. Oh, sorry, buddy. What the hell's? All right. Uh, play. I don't know. I don't know the buttons. I should hit train. All right. I'm this guy. And you're that guy. Don't remember. Oh, Whoa. our sticks have disappeared. There are invisible sticks in this game. Oh boy. I. Uh, that's probably make it a little. It makes it a little. I don't know how to do this with an invisible stick. Yeah, invisible sticks make this hard to do. We can't really play this. All right, this is not going to work. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It did give an option for playing the original Flash game as well. 
Yeah, I don't know if we have flash. It's going to work. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, wild. Sorry, everybody. Also, I'm stuck to you. I'm yeah. stuck to you. Yeah. We'll, we'll kill the game. <laughs> we'll kill the game. It's not going to work. But I'm winning. Yep. I'd take it. No. <laughs> Can we get on top? You know, if I get on top, if, right, if we'll we can, we'll see if it works. I don't know if the flash version will work. Yeah, maybe it won't. Yeah, we can't. We have to prepare these. Only Quop works. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. All right. Well, uh, I think I think we're probably done 7. here. Seven point two meters in Quop. That is true. I could have disappeared. I am a stick. Well, thank you, everybody. I hope you have the greatest day that a human being can ever have, and then Whoa. the rest of your life you just you just be looking back on this day, Goodness. thinking, man, that was it. That was the best day. Uh, thanks everybody for for hanging out. Terrifying. Thank you for being cool. Yeah, we're very tired. I'm pretty tired. We had a very busy day. Uh, well not a busy day, just one big thing that took a lot of time. It was great fun. And was not close to our home, so it was a lot of travel. Hey, you know, have you ever <sighs> seen that there's this thing? Oh, fairy wrens. I don't know why these guys are here. They're so superb. Yeah, they should just sit there. Gotta get a little bit bigger. There they go. That was beautiful. Couple of couple of birds up there. We're a little bit dressed like them right now. Aww, we just, are just a little bit. Just a little. Mm. All right. Good night. If it is not night, have a good day. Bye, everybody. Uh, have fun. Believe in yourself. Dogs come to say goodbye. The dogs here to say goodbye. Oh, he's got a toy. <laughs> he's got a toy. Bye, everybody. Have fun. And we'll see you later. Bye.